You know, I almost didn't do a video tonight, but uh, I got something in the mail, and it's just it's just too bizarre not to do a video on. Um, I didn't even know these existed until I found one, uh, I guess at this point a couple months ago, which just finally arrived today. And, uh, I'm, well, I'm betting quite a few of you don't know it exists either. Anyway, what I have in front of me are two AGS-101 LCDs. Or are they? So on the right here is a uh, is an aftermarket AGS one zero one LCD, uh, the same type that you'd use in a um, Game Boy Advance backlight mod. This one is damaged. I think I tested it a while back. It used to have a glass lens on it. I just peeled that off for the video here. It has that like green line running down the middle of it or whatever it is, uh, but that's fine. It's good enough for. Uh, demonstration purposes for contrast but the uh, real interesting thing here is what I've got on the left so rather than putting this back together and pretending that I'm just opening it up for the first time I already went ahead and removed the uh, metal frame and the rear cover here because I want to show you exactly what's inside this LCD so if you flip it over you might see something uh, something a little bit unusual so this is a completely different LCD that has been, ah, I forgot to turn it off again, that has been adapted for use with the Game Boy Advance. Now for comparison, again, this LCD is already damaged, so if I totally screw it up, it's, you know, no great loss. But these things are always nerve-wracking to take apart. But like the original, the front frame comes off pretty easily, in fact. Except this one looks like it's glued together or something. That can't be good, but that's okay. Really not too concerned about it. I'd like to not completely destroy it, just for sake of having a test part or something you know but if that's what it comes to okay all right so that's the front frame off and these aftermarket units like this these are technically OEM I mean Obviously, they were never in an actual Game Boy, but these were made by the same factory that made the uh, original... I'm not going to use a metal tool for this. That seems dumb. They made the original AGS-101 LCDs. Now, I highly recommend against taking apart your LCD just for shits and giggles, but I think this one is uh, destined for... It's, it's, it's going to a good cause, what I'm trying to say. Try not to stab myself. Now I'm going to be real careful about taking this apart because once you've got the back off, it, that's where it gets a little bit uh, dicey. So on the AGS-101 LCDs, and I'll show you a way to tell these apart very easily without even taking them apart in just a second here. I'm just trying to get this shielding off. It is not cooperating. Oh, got that clip released.
that clip released. There we go. Alright, so as we can see, I've got the rear shielding off. It's just white back here. What this is, th this is basically the backlight and there's a whole bunch of different layers that I really want to try avoiding touching with my bare fingers, but might come to that. Flip that up, and you can see the reflector, backlight down there, etc. I'm not going to take this apart too much further because I haven't ruined this thing quite yet, and it is still somewhat usable. Let me put that back on. Alright. Now, like I said, the way to tell these apart without even pulling the rear housing shielding off is the AGS-101 LCDs have this thing in the corner. This is just the backlight connector. The backlight on this LCD is connected right here. It's underneath the shielding. So I think there's not a whole lot else we can do. Oh, you know what? One more thing. So unfortunately, all the uh, identifying information has been etched off of this PCB. I can't really tell what this chip is. And if I take this motherboard out, I don't know if I'll be able to tell what LCD this is because this looks like a custom enclosure anyway. And I doubt I can pull this up without breaking it. Um, but this chip here, this looks awful familiar, doesn't it? I'm thinking it is the exact same chip that is in the uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, those backlight kits. The etch pattern is different, and uh, the actual dot itself is different, but that doesn't mean it's not the same part, that just means it's at least a different batch. Um, maybe made by a different factory. Same part, different factory, I don't know. Either way, exact same package and exact same size. So, coincidence? Mm, it's probably the same part. That's my guess. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stick this rear frame back on. So, yeah, from the back, here's the two. You can tell them apart real easy. This sticker is a fake, but this sticker is real, and this has that connector there. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Stick this back down under that tab so I can eventually remove that without having to take it apart. So this was sold to me on AliExpress, unfortunately. It was pretty much the same price as the AGS-101 backlight kit. Uh, it was a little bit cheaper, like five bucks. I think these tabs actually go on the inside, but too late for that. I'll fix that later. Um, came with a lens and... Uh, I already misplaced... Oh, no, there it is. Just kidding. And uh, this guy here, but I'm not going to use that. We're going to test it out in an actual AGS-101 here, because I gotta know. I just... I gotta. So bear with me while I take this apart. Sorry for not being completely prepared ahead of time, but... Like I said, this was kind of a last minute thing. Now, I don't know anything about this LCD. I haven't heard of anyone using this. I don't, I don't even know how to reliably get one. All I have is the listing that I purchased it from, which, of course, I'll link down below. And the exact same listing sold these LCDs as well. So, you know, I, I don't know if it's a limited supply thing or, you know. I know for a fact these are cheaper to make they're just being upsold at such a high price to take advantage of the uh, price that the other LCD this one commands and um, quite frankly buying an AGS 101 LCD in 2020 
or whenever you watch this video. It's, it's just not a wise decision. There are better kits you can get for way cheaper. Oh, actually, let me, let me put one of these in because we can do a power usage test as well. And where is my game? Here it is. Come on, Emerald. Power supply here. It's a little bit high on the voltage side. Three point seven, three point six nine, close enough. Okay. And I believe the top one is ground. Okay. I had that backwards. That was almost bad. EGS-101 on low brightness with a legit Pokemon Emerald, not a bootleg or a flashcard or anything. In the overworld here, we're pulling 38, 39 milliamps, and uh, if we switch it up to high brightness, it jumps up to 71, 70 to 71. All right. I'm going to go ahead and switch that off now. And for you weirdos that care, this is a CPU AGB B revision. God, I'm just so excited to try this out. Hopefully there's no weird gotcha with this. Like it only works with AGBs or something and not AGS 101s. That would be bizarre. I'm just double checking. Oh, look at that. It works. I don't know why, but I kind of didn't expect it to work. Oh, let me move that so you can see the power usage. So, it's already way more. Interesting thing about this is this looks like it has that uh, four times scaling as the IPS kits. So on low, brightness, quote-unquote. Oh, I should test this with my Lux meter. I'll try that out in a bit. Um, this is 88, 87 milliamps. High brightness, which actually works. I don't know why I didn't expect it to. Uh, this is about 121 milliamps. And yeah, as far as I can tell, that's linear scaling. I'm not seeing any frame drops, but quite frankly, it's really hard to tell without being able to pick this thing up. So I'm going to swap out to my flash card here. And what are we going to try out? Let's try that scrolling bar test. Oh, 
Wow. This is very nice. Very smooth. I don't see any frame tearing. And uh, of course, it does drop that one frame when the first S in scroll, well, the only S in scrolling, goes off the left frame. Uh, what happens is the ROM issues an LCD reset command. And um, quite frankly, no mod kits and no original Game Boy screens handle that reset command very gracefully. In this case, we're dropping a frame, but that's about it. Wow, this is nice. This is actually a really nice LCD. That's just so bizarre. Okay, hang on. Pull the game out, just boot it up to that screen there, and uh, right below it I've got another AGS-101. I'll just put these side by side, and you, you, you tell me which one you like. I'll try and take some pictures and post it in the description, but yeah, that's nuts. So what you might be seeing on this bottom one here, if you're watching at the full resolution, is this black grid going down. Like you can basically see the individual pixels because it's such a low resolution, low resolution screen. This one, on the other hand, looks like it's using linear scaling, same as the new IPS kits. And uh, so you don't see that what's called screen door effect. You don't see that grid because the pixels themselves are much smaller. And this is using four pixels on this screen per one pixel on this screen. That's nuts, man. Oh, I didn't even know these things exist. I'm sorry, I just I keep freaking out because it's just such a weird thing to me. So, going back to how freaking weird this thing is, I'm not going to take it apart again. But if you remember back in the beginning when I had it apart, you could see how there was a ribbon cable. This ribbon cable connected up to a bale, a flat flex connector, that went to the PCB. And this thing ships with, uh, what the, I already lost it, there it is. Ships with this adapter. Like, why not just ship one ribbon cable that already has the right connector on it? Like, what's up with that? Why not just ship... Yeah, why, why are they doing that? That's so bizarre. But, yeah. There you go. How freaking weird is that? Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the video here. Let me know your thoughts on this thing. Uh, that's just so bizarre. I, I think I'll put this in a Game Boy Advance SP. I guess I'll do an AGS uh, 001 to 101 vid now. And I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it caught me completely by surprise. I didn't expect it to work as well as it does. I didn't, ex I didn't even expect to get one, quite frankly. But yeah, I'll go, make sure you read the description. I always try and post uh, a lot of cool shit in the description. Uh, links, sources, extra fun facts, stuff like that. Uh, TLDRs even, if you can't get over the length of my videos. Uh, but yeah, I'll go ahead and post some more pictures. I'll take some measurements. I will, uh, I'll add this to my spreadsheet with all my power usage measurements and, uh, lux measurements, you know, brightness. And yes, this is just so cool. <laughs> all right. Thanks guys. Have a good night. Addendum, because inquiring minds have to know. I got my Game Boy Color here. This is the... El Clono, quote unquote, the Ben Ben original AGS 101 backlight mod Game Boy Color. Uh, this one in particular has an, a Cerakoted aluminum shell. But let's test the screen with it, yeah? So bear with me just a minute. I could have decided to think ahead and take this apart ahead of time, but planning ahead is for suckers and people who actually make money off of YouTube. And for some reason, I used hex head screws.
No, I know the reason. I lost the original screws. <laughs> For those wondering, I never really did a video on this. The only other time I think it's made an appearance on my channel is when I um, took it apart to test the other IPS mod with it. And even then, the video got fucked up, lost a lot of footage, but it's okay. can't remove this because there's an LED under there. That's okay. Does this go? I think that goes like this. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think this is going to work, to be clear. But I'm trying to anyway because, like I said, acquiring mine's got to know. Go pins up? Maybe it does. Uh, either way, nothing. I didn't think it would work, but I had to know. Out one more time this way. Yep, nothing. Well, there's the answer. Didn't think it would work. And to be clear, even if it did work, the um, the other IPS mod, this one, would have been better. Anyway, just bigger image. But now we know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.